Jerry, come here. I want to... Oh, George, you shouldn't have walked between Jerry and me. Oh, I'm sorry, fellas. We'll fix it. Bread and butter, Dan. Bread and butter. What goes up in the chimney? Smoke. What do you smoke? Chesterfield. Right, and that's our bread and butter. Ha, ha, ha. Which means that Chesterfield, the only cigarette in America to give you premium quality in both regular and king size, brings you the Dean Martin and Jerry Lewis Show. Chesterfield. My partner, Jerry Lewis, will be bounding in on the next pogo stick, so while we're waiting for the boisterous little bounder, what do you say we start things humming with a tuneful little ear full of music? So, Richard, it is you, is or is you ain't my conductor. <laughs> Oh, no, Uncle has 
Kathy. He's an inspector in the Tiddly Wings factory. Sounds like a civil service job. An inspector? An inspector in the Tiddly Wings factory? Oh, he was a specialist, you understand. It was his job to decide which were the boy Tiddly Wings and which were the girl Tiddly Wings. You mean there was a way he could tell the difference between the guys and dolls? Oh, to be sure. As the Tiddlies came down the assembly line, my uncle would wink at them. And the Tiddlies that winked back Why were the girls. girls. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not working with someone who comes from a family of Tiddly Winks. Dean <laughs> Martin, you've insulted my family, and we Lewises don't take these things lightly. We're a proud clan, and I therefore challenge you to a duel. You may choose your own field of honor. But, Jerry, I don't have any field. Then we're even. I don't have any honor. Here's my card. Your card? Yeah, what's the story? Your card? Yeah, what's the thing here? That's the family coat of arms. Who crossed the lamies on a field of chopped liver? <laughs> now, look, you don't mean a real duel with pistols, do you? Wait, wait. Do you understand? We shall meet tomorrow morning at dawn. And if I'm not there by 6 o'clock, yeah. start without me. <laughs> yeah, you, you must be kidding about all this. Hardly, Mr. Martin. We shall settle this insult in blood. I'm going now. Where? To get some. <laughs> I'll be seeing you. What? I said I'll be seeing you. I'll be seeing you In every lovely summer's day In everything that's light and gay While I always think of you that way I'll, I'll find you in the morning sun And I'll find you in the evening sun And when the morning comes I'll be looking at the moon You know, there's nothing quite so blue as the blues when they're set to music. But when a songwriter stirs up the usual blues and throws in a few sentimental wedding bells for good measure, he's liable to have cooked up one of the season's top hit blue ballads. And here it is. <laughs>
Mr. Martin. Oh, Mr. Martin. What is it, Mr. Lewis? As you recall, you have insulted my family, and I challenge you to a duel. However, we'll have to call off the duel because of something I just found out. What is that? I'm a coward. <laughs> well, it's just as well we call it off, Jeff. Yeah, we, uh... Didn't we might have been arrested? After all, we have laws in this country. And tonight, I've invited as our guest a star who is a staunch supporter of law enforcement on his own shows. The dynamic young personality of radio and TV, the star of Dragnet, Jack Whip! <laughs> okay, Jerry, this is Jack Webb from Dragnet TV. Well, how do you do? I'm Jerry Lewis from Newark, NJ. <laughs> no, Jerry, I'm from the television show, Dragnet. Oh, I saw you last week on a new set Dean gave me for Christmas. Jerry, that wasn't a TV set I gave you. It was a washing machine. <laughs> no wonder the cops and robbers were chasing each other in their underwear. <laughs> I'll tell you, Mr. Real Thing, Jerry. It was the story of a policeman who guarded the catch of the fishing fleet. Yeah, it was called the Cape Cod Kipper Keeper Cooper Caper. <laughs> Now, the villain was a camper named Cooper who worked in a bottle factory, first as a corker, then as a capper. Friday, 
younger brother. My name is Thursday. I'm a cop, too. All day long, I pound the beat. I make my own board. I'm Friday's older brother. My name is a week from Tuesday. I'm a special agent for the Crime Commission. For every crime, I get a 10% commission. <laughs> Hi. 
I know, but there were no more jokes left in the house, so we decided to search the barn. It's awful dark in this barn. Well, hold my hand, sir. Okay, Fry. <laughs> hey, Fry. Fry, where are you? I'm over here. And whose fingers am I holding? <laughs> Here. I'll shoot. Don't shoot. I'll confess. Who are you? My name's Cooper. Oh, you're the camper from the Cape Cod Tipper Keeper Cooper Keeper. <laughs> yeah, the fellow who works in the bottle factory as a corker and a capper. No, I used to. Now I work in a rug factory as a carpet clipper. <laughs> a carpet clipper? I'm letting you go. You're letting the killer go? Why? It's easier than having to say this is a Cape Cod Camper Cooper Corker Capper Capper Carpet Clipper Keeper Capper Cooper Cape Cod You can sing for me any time. Thanks, Jack, and uh, you can guess for us any time, too. How about that, Jerry? Splendid, old chap, splendid. Say, look, how about you boys having lunch with me sometime? Love, too. Not me. I went to a restaurant today, ate a businessman's lunch, and was thrown out. You were thrown out for eating a businessman's lunch? Why? The businessman wanted to eat it himself. <laughs> oh, Jack, I know you've got to be seven along now, but don't forget your job, you know. Get him. Yes, sir. Get everybody to change to Chesterfield. Friends, Dean, Jerry, and I wouldn't ask you to try Chesterfield if we didn't know Chesterfield is best for you. Best because they're first to give you scientific evidence on the effects of smoking. And best because only Chesterfield gives you premium quality in both regular and king size. That's right, folks. Chesterfield is best for you. Regular or king size. They give you all the pleasure the modern cigarettes can give. So your job, get them. Get Chesterfield today. Well, so long, boys. It was swell being here. Good night. Good night, Good night Jack. Jack, and thank Good you night. so much.